Hi everyone, this is Kathy Gross, Kurtz with Bookkeeping Clean and Simple here in Austell, Georgia near Metro Atlanta. And today I wanted to show you something that I had learned this week in working with another client. Remember a few weeks ago I actually did a video showing you how to create a brand new desktop file from an existing file. Well, what I realized is that the experience from QuickBooks accountant desktop is different from say one of the other non-accountant softwares. So for instance, as you can see, I'm in accountant desktop 2022 now. And if you go over to the file menu, you can see that you have the option to new company from existing company file here. You also have the open or restore company, which you also have over here. Okay. But if you toggle to say another edition, which right now I'm going to go ahead and go into QuickBooks Pro. So that way you can see, and I may have to fast forward this. So that way we can show you pretty quickly what I'm talking about. Okay. So through the magic of fast forwarding and skipping, you can see that we are now in the QuickBooks Desktop Pro 2022. And this is basically the same version that my client was working on when I was working with her. So if you come over to the file menu here, you'll see that we no longer have that other option available, but we do have that open or restore company, which we can basically do the same thing in a non-accounted file, but using this particular function here. So either from here or from this menu right here, either way, you're going to click on that and that's going to pop open this menu right here. And we want to restore from a backup. Okay. So we're going to go to next and most likely you're going to go to the local backup because that's where it's going to be located. So we're going to go and click on next. And then that's going to take you to where your local backup is. In my case, I have it on a USB drive. So let's say we want to back up. So I have these names obscured on purpose. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on the most recent update for this file right here. And I'm going to go ahead and click on open. And then the next area asks you where you want to restore this file. So you click on next and then you navigate to or it should just pop into company file by default. And that's probably where you want to go because that's where all your company files are set up. So basically what you would do right here is you would rename the file to whatever you're going to rename it to. Let's say just a uh, new demo file. And I always like to put the year that I'm working in and then click on save here. And then it prompts you to do the password, which I'll go ahead and do for this one since I know. And then it's going to, and if you need to update the file, it'll prompt you to update. But you only have to do this once if you're going to be using this as a template to create new files. And then you're all set. And then once you click on that, that'll open up into the new file that you're working with. And then all you would need to do is once you get in here, you go over here to company and then my company and then update all the information that's in there to the information for the new company. But basically you want to do some of the same things that you did when we did the other video. You want to make sure everything is nice and clean, that you have everything set up, your chart of account set up the way that you want to do this. And this is basically really good for if you have multiple customer files that are similar. If you have a customer that works in like real estate and they have several different EINs that they're working with and they want to make sure that the chart of accounts is the same without having to go ahead and transfer all that stuff over. So that's basically what this is good for. So hopefully this will help you today. Y'all have a wonderful week. Take care and we will see you soon. Thank you for watching. I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel and share it with others. My goal is to publish at least one new video per week on QuickBooks desktop or online topics 
the occasional motivational video, and a few surprises thrown in here and there. I would love to talk to you about how to help you optimize your knowledge and usage of QuickBooks Desktop or Online. My Calendly link is in the slide. Please use that to reach out to me to schedule a free 45-minute initial consult. I would love to talk to you about your QuickBooks Desktop or Online training needs. Again, have a wonderful day, and until next time, we'll see you soon. Take care.